direction. Witness the church and witness music. This is the World Global Express. Romans 3.23 For all that have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's time to bring Jesus back into the world. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm feeling? You already know. Now's the time to stop making excuses and bring Jesus back into the world. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to step up. The leaders of God have got to stand up. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Oh, you're great at that. Uh huh. And you sing all the time. You don't need to do it again. Yeah. Right. You tell you you're doing good. You don't need to preach to him. You're doing good. Him will not tell you that. Amen. You need to preach your challenge and do better. That's true. Right. And I hope through the Word of God tonight we can do just that. I am going to read two places: Luke and then John. Um. And I'm going to read, starting at the 36th verse of the 22nd chapter of Luke, and then uh, be over in uh, the 18th chapter of John, and uh, 10th verse. Then he said unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was uh, reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, there are two swords. And he said unto him, them, it is enough. And he came out and went as he was wont to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples also followed him. Amen. Now if you jump over to John 18. And the Bible says in the 10th verse, Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it, smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword unto thy sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink? It. Pray for you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come before you this day. My love, my lamb, I say that all might hear me tonight. If you do not anoint me right now, I will fail you, my God. And I know that, Lord, I know that. But I seek you this hour to fresh bread of the earth, to give to this people, that I may be a help in some manner or some way. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 All right, I'd like to, if I can, just I start off, I, I, I kind of like to use props and uh, get people to help me out here. So I'm going to start. Brother John, get up here if we can briefly. I'll use you first. You can sit back down. And, uh, you know, I, I want you to be my Peter, all right? And, uh, you know, I know you probably picture Peter a little taller. And, uh, but you use your imagination here. And, uh, Peter, and if you would just hold that, the Bible said that there was two swords. 
swords. Amen. Amen. There wasn't one sword. There was two swords. Amen. Amen. So whenever, amen, Peter, amen, is drawing his sword, there's somebody else over here. I'll make it Luke, all right? And we'll just say Brother Luke has his sword in his side. Amen. Whenever he draws his sword, Luke, amen, gets ready, but he don't draw it. Come on now. He just stands there and he watches. Amen. As all of a sudden, the men gather around and maybe somebody, a soldier, grabs his sword from him. Amen. And said, you better not. Amen. But this man did not draw his sword. And I want to preach tonight. Amen. Because I believe. Amen. When they talked about it afterwards. Amen. And all of a sudden, someone said, yeah. But I see Peter. He draw his sword. Hey, Luke. What did you do? My goodness. I can hear Luke say, I was about to. But I. Uh, and let me talk. I want to preach. Living with regret. Listen to me, church. I can't. 
Okay? I sing. When you're a pastor, you can do what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got the back, you can just start singing. <laughs> 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 I'll challenge them sometimes. If you don't sing, I will. Why play for that? Let me tell you something. The first time I was asked to sing, and I testified this, maybe I'll hear that. I promise you, my mom and dad was part of the, the gospel group. The ambassadors for Christ. Man, I got in behind them one night when they was practicing. I was a new member. Oh, Lord. Uh, in my dark voice. And I start singing. Uh, man, after about a half a course, my brother by the name of Bobby Edwards, who was playing the guitar, he was the lead singer, went, Gary. Yeah. Son, you're going to get out of here. You had to get out behind us. We hate the same key. Set me church that night. Brother, leave the service. Brother, Gary, I know you've never sung, but it's on my heart. You want to sing? Guess the first thing that came to my ears was Get out from behind the sun. Right. So I said, of course, yes, I do. Yeah. And I, whoo, let me tell you something, brother. Ain't nothing worse than hearing strum, strum, ding, 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 strum, strum, strum. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. They caught all of them. I wasn't in none of them. <laughs> Come on now. Where I was, I don't know. And they couldn't find me. But you know what? Oh, 
Jesus. Their friend was lowered down in front of Jesus. to survive and every day the media is always watching so unless you're a professional unless you're a student experience unless you're old or young it doesn't matter the cameras are always watching the media is always listening and the mics are always on 
unless you're gotten, please don't try this at home. The hunger, the man did not have the passion, the man did not have the desire, the man did not have the zeal, the man, and I'm here to say, God will give you what you need, he just can't give you what you have, and that's a hunger, and a thirst, and a desire to draw your soul. Amen. Amen. Brother, I don't know how you leave service, so if I step on somebody's toes, Burn them up. <laughs> yeah, take it over. <laughs> I don't know. You don't sing. Do you sing? Yes, okay, okay. I'll use you. <laughs> What's your name? James. James, come and sing. Well, thank God. Sit down. Tell me no this time. James, come and sing. No. Come on, James, come and sing. James, we love to sing. Uh-huh. Oh, where'd you put it? After about the fifth time, yeah. James, come and sing. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. If you really want me to. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. If you have no, to be more than that to once, That's right. you need to get some exalted spirit out of it. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. You were just asked to draw your sword. Amen. You didn't have to be begged to draw your sword. Amen. You said, yes, Lord. You give me a chance. I'm going to do it. I'm going to draw my sword. Amen. everything I've got. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Amen. 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 Get home, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the truth. See, Brother Gary, I sing all the time. I love a person with the ten talents. Right. Give God the praise. Amen. Give God the ten talents. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Don't complain to God. Oh, we can use mine. Oh, uh huh. Huh? He gives according to your ability. That's right. That's right. Huh? It, oh, man, that was good. Yeah. Pat myself on the back. Mm -hmm. Didn't know I was going to say that, but that's needed for somebody. That's right. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, somebody. Come on. This is the greatest honor and privilege. Twelve of the apostles were there. Only two had the honor Amen. of carrying a sword. Yes. And only one had the courage to draw it. Do you know what? Every time you ask him to sing, 
I got to him after the second time he got that. I said, Jason, can I teach you how this works? <laughs> yeah. That's why I need to sound like everybody else's. <laughs> huh? But can I say something? Yeah. He drew his sword. <laughs> Okay. Church, can I borrow your guitar? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Cooney, he's one of those that he's, he is special. Right? Now, he's part of his attack. He's special. He's got to sleep in the seats. From the time the church starts to the time it ends, he's doing this. He usually drops his pick down in here when he falls asleep. The next 10 minutes when he wakes up, he's doing this. <laughs> huh? When he gets it back, he... <laughs> he looked at me one night. He said, Brother Gary, can I put the juice to it? I said, Brother Cooney, you got to learn to play with both hands. I look at him three minutes later, he's going... <laughs> That's right. Amen. You move it over. Amen. 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 One, That's good. take oh, the other, right. one love the other. That's Come right. On. Come on. That's the truth. Eli was doing what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. Eli was doing what God told him to do. Eli was doing what God told him to do. God even let him give a woman a miracle. Yeah. When she prayed at the altar. Amen. God mm -hmm. give you a son as is the type of life. Yes, yes. And a little boy named Samuel yes. was born. Oh, but can I talk to you? Yeah. Hey, his voice started getting older. Yeah. And he started hearing his voice. Hey, Amen. They wasn't just taking what they were supposed to. They had a set of three. Hey, Amen. They go for it with three prongs on it. Yeah. And they would put it down into the pot. And whatever came out, that was God's will for them to have. Yeah. Now, come on, you know what they would do? Oh, that they would put it in and they'd look at it. And if it wasn't what they wanted, they'd that. crop it back down. Right. And they would start fishing for the best. Come on, down. And someone told him. And instead of saying to them, Right. Yeah. He started loving his sons. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. Oh my. Amen. Lord, brother Gary, I love those ball games. <laughs> you missed church for him, That's right. Come on. 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 Yeah. Maybe it ain't, it ain't one of those words around so long. Come on. Mm -hmm. You start giving that. Oh, that's good. You're losing it from here. Amen. 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 You can't do both. That's right. right. No, you can't. I love God just as much. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can't. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's impossible God's allowed to go home. Amen. That's right. You cannot do it. No. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to take it back later. Mm. Uh, can I tell you that? Ooh, man, I, brother, I promise I didn't know this coming out. This coming out. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a person telling the story. He had a dream. And in this dream, there was a big field. He sat on this side of the field. All of a sudden, Jesus and all kinds of angels appeared. And he just sat and watched in all of their glory. 
Oh, he was amazed. And all of a sudden you heard a sound and looked. And over on this side, the devil, amen, was there. And all kinds of ins and hell. And he said, he looked at them as a hint right down the middle. Uh, he said he started watching uh, back and forth. I uh, wondered what they was going to do. Uh, he got a little tired. Uh, so he climbed up on the fence. Uh, amen. He started watching. Uh, the next thing you know, uh, amen, uh, Jesus and all of them disappeared. Uh, and the Satan looked at him and said, come on, uh, you're going with me. Uh, he said, but no, uh, I didn't choose you. Uh, he said, yes, you do. Uh, I own the fence. Yeah. Oh, More than he loved God. Amen. Oh, yes. Listen to me. It may not be your children. It may be your children. But it may be a TV. Right. Huh? Right. right. I'm mm -hmm. preaching on TV. I got one. That's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of you know her, some of you may not, and I respect you for that. Yeah, man. I have to highly respect you for that. I have four. Huh? It may be. He <laughs> meant uh, the places you run around on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Right. It may be your friends you hang with. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you should have I'm here to somebody. <laughs> on. Whatever it is that you're doing, keep you from calling your sword. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. And friend, you're in dangerous ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. And living with regrets. Yes. I don't know if it was Luke. I'm going to say it was Luke. Say, I just picked him out. It could have been Thaddeus. Nobody knows about him anyway. But how many people probably came to Luke and said, Luke, buddy, why didn't you draw your sword? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There was three days before Jesus arose and they thought there was no hope. Yes. They were talking about Peter already. Mm -hmm. huh? I kind of got a feeling he's talking about somebody else too. Mm -hmm. and Peter, I can't believe he denied the Lord. Yeah, but at least he draws his sword, Luke. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, mm hmm. Come on, at least he tried. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's it. That's it. Brother Gary, we had such a nice service tonight. Yeah. Well, ask yourself a simple question. Uh -huh. What did you do by your hair? Amen. That's right. Come on. That preacher didn't preach. How often did you amen? Amen. Preachers are like dogs. I got a dog, I can say, get him, say, what? <laughs> Ain't nothing out there. She ran out on the porch. I put her outside. I'm like, get her safe. Yeah. <laughs> Preachers are the same way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> there you go. Pray the Lord. Come on, it's true anyway. I'm a preacher. I know. Amen. I preach right. at the church once. We'll see what the denomination is. Three <laughs> sisters sitting on the front, few others in the back, two there, and I preach in my heart out. And all of a sudden, the sister sitting there right there goes, <laughs> 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 And I went, Well, there's fire in there somewhere. And it's got to get it out. <laughs> and one person that I talked to you had a message. I didn't see for this today or last week. The day he called me, I said, God, I need to know what to preach. And God said, Preach. Amen. Amen. And I'm doing exactly what he said. Amen. And I promise you, amen. Just wanted to tell you I love you. Yeah. 
You can have your birthright, mm-hmm. or you can have something that came into the world. He was no doubt just a few feet from his house. For those of you that don't know who I am, you are about to witness greatness. You are about to witness history, and you are about to witness the impact player. Oh, boys, I tell you what, that Poncho Blazing ATM, man, he is on his game. Man, my man spitting out bars, bro. He's spitting out bars. As a young kid born in Bell County, Pineville, Kentucky, and raised in Harlan County, Kentucky, Cameron, Kentucky, it is my destiny, it is my passion, and it is my will to do God's will. It is my will to give back to the nation. And it is my will to make an impact in the world. Oh, boys, if you only knew and seen such a great talent, you got to respect a man's pride and a man's uh, heritage. Even though he may uh, have an ego or he may have a cockiness in him, hey, Pancho Blazing ATM is still ready and is still willing to fight. And even though my granddaddy was a preacher and a pastor. My daddy was a preacher and a pastor. My mom's a preacher and a pastor. Now, that bloodline and that heritage goes to me. Oh, why you tell you what? Poncho blazing ATM. You know, you might not like his ways. You might not like what he does. But you gotta respect the young man's uh, will, and you gotta respect the young man's uh, pride, and you gotta respect the young man's passion. And I guarantee you, this right here, with me doing rap and hip hop music, and now me being a preacher and a minister, I guarantee you, digital records is going global. And I guarantee you, Mr. Blazin is going global. Get ready. Because the hip-hop preacher is on his way. Right? Garden, you are pretty close to a home. Maybe in a half mile, most. But instead of that extra battle to keep his birthright, he sold his birthright for something that came from the world. Amen. Young ladies, young men, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you still have your birthright? Amen. So what do you mean, Brother Gary? If you died right now, you were born with the right of eternal life in heaven. Right. Mm-hmm. You were born with the right to a place in heaven. Now, yeah. I may cross your brow, eyebrows here when I say this, but the Bible does not say there's mansions in heaven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It says in my Father's house are many mansions. Right. Mm-hmm. But I can prepare a place for you. you mm-hmm. Right now, I don't mean that they ain't there, but there's no proof that there's there. Mm-hmm. Right? I want a cabin on a hill. I'm not a magic kind of guy. <laughs> right? I want a creek with fish in it and deers in the meadow and I wouldn't know what to do with chandeliers and all that. Right? Come on, what good is goat to walk on it up there, really? Huh? But anyway, that was just true. But my point is you have that when you were born. Right. Mm-hmm. But right now in your life, if you're not careful, the devil has walked up to you. All right. And the devil said, that sword, which is your birthright, I want to take that from you. Mm-hmm. And he has taken from you the very purpose of your life. Mm-hmm. For the whole duty of man is to serve and to fear God and to keep his commandments. Right, oh, right. The Bible said that when Esau wanted his birthright, he quit. But could not find because it had been given. And friend, the Bible said, hold fast that that you have. Don't let the devil, and everyone says, let no man take your crown. Amen. And 
somebody here, I can point you out. I can put my finger right between your eyes. Mm -hmm. yes. Right in here, there's a river. It's a river of tears. Because you realize right now you have regrets. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're living with regrets. Yeah, but I promise you, God is telling you right now, if you will come, you can be like Paul who said, I put behind those things and I push towards the mark. He killed God's people. He made women and children blaspheme. He consented to the death of Stephen. But he said, forgetting those things that are behind. Yes. Right. I can't do nothing about that, but I can start a new vision. Yes. So I asked, as my sister says, I asked the church if you went to take a moment and bow your heads. If you're singing the Holy Ghost, it's a good time to come and pray. That's right. I apologize. I preach longer than I normally do. But I need to talk to somebody here. You can hear me if you're here or if you're in the back or if you're in another part of the, of the, of the building. God wants you to know something tonight. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly what He gave you. Mm -hmm. If your duty is to worship and sing or to preach, or to, He knows exactly what your purpose is. And right now He's waiting on you to take your hand, reach down into that sheath, because He'll make it appear again. And He'll give you the opportunity this year, one of the saddest things I had to do, maybe it was, the, it was last year because this is a new year, I had to stand over an 18-year-old boy, star football player, cancer did not care. Kids came out, and they wept, and they cried. But I'm thankful that I was going to baptize him in his house. And saying in his last days, he said, I need to draw my sword. This may sound cruel, but let me explain before you talk about me. You may not be lucky enough to have a cancer. So what do you mean? At least you have time to pray. If your day is tomorrow, and you get hit by a cold truck. Tell you something, there's no time to grab your sheep. Mm -hmm. Your soul got your sheep. But God knows you. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly where you're sitting. Mm -hmm. And I came from a long ways. And I'm no special person. I have nothing. But God is special. And God is special enough to know you in your circumstance. And God sees you where you're at right now. And as the church bows their head, I ask you to look at me just a second. And let's talk. As the church bows their head, young men, young ladies, those who may not know God, can I ask you a simple question? Why? Why would you stay outside of that hope when tonight you feel God tugging on your heart? It's, I always say it like this, you know it's God because I can't make your heart burn. Only God can. And the scripture says, Did not our heart burn within us, mm -hmm. even as He spoke? And that burning of your heart is the voice of your love. And your love is saying, Child, come home to me. Child, I don't want you to live with regrets. Child, I want you to stand before me one day and I want to say, Well done, good, faithful servant. And only you can decide. And I see a house full of people with their heads bowed. But I know of at least four here right now. You've got such a regret in your life. Mm -hmm. You have such a regret. I always say you look in the mirror sometimes and wonder who it is looking back at you. Can I talk to you? <laughs> I feel you, Lord. <laughs> but not. But not. God is bidding you to come. Mm -hmm. My sister's going to sing. I, 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 when she sings, I can out talk. I heard her voice. I guarantee you, I got to be one. 
I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Will you please? Will you please come? I'll come with you if you want to come. I've never forced this on anybody, but I promise mm -hmm. you, you'll never regret serving God. Right. You'll never right. regret it. And you feel him. You know you do. Mm -hmm. I'll hold out my hand. That's all I can do. But if you'll come, Lord, I'll run with you. You'll never outrun me. I promise you. <laughs> you'll never outrun me. If you want to come, I'll go with you. Church is praying. Can I talk to them? Yes. Church is praying. Yes. They're waiting on you. Please, church, keep praying. Don't look up. You know I know who you are if you're at state. Can you just, I'm not going to come to you, I promise. Just going to look at you. Will you look at me just a second? Just a second. Give me that much. Just give me that much. If you don't know the Lord, look at me just a second. Mm -hmm. Just give me that much. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for money. I didn't ask for your firstborn. Mm -hmm. I just said, let me talk to you eyeball to eyeball real quick. Mm -hmm. You can't look at this old pillar, turn a gray. What are you going to do when you stand before God? And he says, look at me, son. Look at me, daughter. I wish I could convince you to pray. I wish I could convince you to dedicate your life to God. I wish I could convince you to say tonight is my night. I came hoping tonight somebody would pray. When God gave me the Esau example, I knew somebody would be here who regrets the fact that they're not where they used to be with God. I knew there'd be somebody here who with all their heart wants to grab their sword one more time. They got works they want to do again. They think about it. Oh, and they dream about the good times in the Lord. You can have them again. Ain't nobody looking, I promise you. It's you and God. It's you and God, but I don't want to quit because I believe you're so close. I feel it so close, so close. Just have the courage. You have the courage to walk away. Have the courage to walk back. Have the courage to come back home. Have the courage to stand up. Say, Daddy, you're not going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. And come to the altar and say, God.
greatest man of God you can read over in the Bible, Samson, had to go back and pick up the jawbone after he threw it down. Mm -hmm. He was going to die until he picked up that jawbone. Mm -hmm. And when he picked it back up, God revived his strength. Mm -hmm. He re picked up his sword. Friend, I'm talking to somebody. I know I'm in. Mm -hmm. I can't do no more than ask. I wish people was praying for the Holy Ghost. Got a sister up here praying. Somebody come and pray for her. Will you do that? Can you do that? I'm talking to you. You know I am. You know I am. How about if these the church will come up here and pray? That's a great thing. As many as we'll come on up here. Whether you've got some age on you or you're young, you don't matter. God loves you. Mm -hmm. He don't just love you. He's in love with you. I tell my wife all the time, I love chicken. I'm just not in love with it. <laughs> right? You can say I love God. I didn't want you to watch. You want you to be in love with him.